Hey guys, I've been trying to make Next Auth work with Cypress. Next Auth is pretty popular in Next.js apps. So here is how it works. I have a dummy email here, a test email that is allowed to log into the app. And when I log in, the log out button appears. And when I log out, the login button would be there. And so that way we know we are logged in. And if you look at the application, Let's clear the cookies and start from scratch. So we log in, sign in, click the email, and then we have the next off session, next off callback URL, and next off CS RF token. Okay. And we're logged in. And we log out, and then one of those goes away. So login, log out works pretty well in the application. So, how do we deal with this situation with Cypress? Now, I'll give you two. Two solutions. Uh, this is the app, but I couldn't make it work and I made it work here. So let's just do the simple version first. First, looking at the, the, the response that's coming from API auth session. So when we were making that call, there's a certain uh, data that comes from the network and we can just make that fixture out of that. So that one I just saved as a JSON file and simply it looks like this, right? It gives you the name, email, some image, and then some date where it expires and you can change all these values. So the first version is you're intercepting that call to API auth session, which is an endpoint in my next application right over here. Right. So you're intercepting that call and then once we, we intercept it with that real data, and then we set a cookie called next auth session, and any value we give it as long as there is that cookie there, things are fine. So let's try that first version. And I'll only run this part. So we see the visit, right? And we see the intercepted session going out, and that value we are stubbing out with our fixture. So this stub fixture value comes out of the network and then it looks like we're logged in, right? So this is one way to log in with Cypress with stubbing the session. Now, how do we make a real Google login? If you go through the Cypress documents, there is a, it made a super nice command for you, which we can utilize, but things seem to be working differently with next off so what i did is pretty much took that command copy pasted it and i'm going to try to see if it's working and i have some console logs here so the first call is being made here and we get some body out of that an id token and access token with the access token we're making another call and then Next auth session cookie should be appearing there. We set that value with the ID token. That's why we need the ID token over here. And then we will have to preserve that cookie. So that, um, that feature went away. So I cookies preserve once it went away after version 10, but Gleb made a plugin. Um, it works the same way as Cypress version 10 or prior. Uh, but in this example, I could not make it work at all. So that's and initially um, I had it this way. In fact, let me just fully reset this file. I'll save need the file again. Commands not need to read. I guess I'll put it in commands. Ah, now let me just do this. And just bring it back to the fully original version before I was trying everything. Ah, here we go, yeah. So for the documentation, I was hoping this kind of a thing would work, but when you run it, right, let's see what's happening. So you are logging in 
and there are two Google requests going out and the cookie is coming to right? There's no problem there too. Cookie is coming in and for a brief moment we're logged in, but as soon as this call to API auth session is done, the cookie that we're preserving which is next auth session token. That one is disappearing. So we'll see it for a brief second. Next auth session is there, and then it goes away. As soon as this call to my auth endpoint, next auth endpoint is being done. So again, I'm doing it. I set the token correctly. I preserve it. Everything that was documented in the Cypress documentation is working, but next auth clears it upon this call. See, I see. I see the button there and then it goes away, but then it appears again, right? So next art is really messing things up for me uh, with the documentation. So I thought, okay, I'm getting all the information. Everything looks right that my console logged. So all the documentation is working. This part where we're getting the user item and then setting that uh, as a value and local storage isn't needed with next auth so next auth abstracts that and um, does other things but at the end what it's making happen is this next auth session token obviously that part isn't there that right? things are slightly different with next auth but the idea is okay you are definitely getting that id token and we can set that cookie but next auth is clearing it so i struggled with this for a long time even uh, when you visit and then try to set the cookie before visiting that'd be so we're preserving it and then we're trying to set the cookie before preserving it all right even when we do that same thing's happening it gets set and then boom it goes away and it's like as if i have to log in again right so couldn't make this work in any way uh, but at the end i thought okay if this call whenever this network request goes out is what's making things reset, right? So things are fine. I've set it as soon as this call happens, my cookie goes away, then great. Then why don't we just, uh, we, we will preserve it, right? We'll just do a regular side visit. And then just do the intercept, right? As soon as that call to next auth is done. So we'll just say, hey, don't, I've already set my cookie, so don't make that call or whenever that call happens, just intercept it, return a, so by default it's a get request. So will just return a 200 stub response and we can call it whatever, you don't have to erase it. Right. So we're in a sense, we are kind of uh, preventing that from going out, that call, right? So as soon as that happens, it's just a 200 response, but we're not letting it do anything. And the session token that we put in there stays in there, thanks to that. For the application, All right? Next out session token stays in there perfectly. And it looks like we're in the application. So this is a way to log in with Google and uh, stay logged in when you're using next auth. So there are two ways, right? The first one is easy, stopping the login, simply setting that token by some value. And in the real one, we are actually setting it with a real value that we get from Google. And we have to prevent next auth from doing its thing and overwriting our cookies. That is the gist of it. I'll push this example and the ones, the uh, examples I saw online about next auth authentication with Cypress weren't good or working. So here are two simple approaches if you have to deal with next auth and uh, enjoy.